Danone shares have been very much underperforming a lot of their European peers and they were down 30% uh, last year to reach a six year low. And we had this report yesterday uh, in uh, the news, news outlet challenge uh, mentioning that Bluebell had uh, bought an undisclosed stake in Danone at the end of 2020 and sent a letter to the Danone management asking for a split between the CEO and chairman role being currently held by Emmanuel Faber and also asking for a replacement at the top of the group. Now Danone didn't comment directly on this story we just issued a statement yesterday saying that the leadership team continues to be highly focused on delivering long-term sustainable value for its shareholders and that's all it commented on but look Danone has been under difficulties for a little while even before the Covid crisis and analysts have been looking at their performance uh, they had a lot of their main brands really slowing uh, and their, their European dairy segments as well having some difficulties and they haven't managed to benefit from the Covid crisis from the Covid crisis even though we saw some people very much uh, rushing to supermarket and stockpiling at some uh, moments of the crisis. They didn't seem to benefit uh, from this very much. And one bit of the business has been hit and one that is a high margin segment is the water business. As you remember, they own Evian and Volvic Waters, for example. And with people working from home and restaurants being shut down, this has been impacting that part of the business very much. Now, they've been taking some measures uh, recently. They announced a, a management restructuring uh, and overall of the management structure in October. October, the CFO that had been in the group for 16 years is leaving this position to uh, lead a strategic committee in the company and a new CEO, CFO is coming in place. Uh, they're also reviewing their portfolio of brands. They have 121 brands that they're looking at and they might even drop some of them and some regions they might pull out of. So there's all this strategic review that is undergo undergoing at the moment. They sold the remaining stake in Yokult, the Japanese uh, yogurt recently. And finally, they're cutting 2000 jobs. That's about 2% of their workforce. So they're putting this, this, all this in place in the past few months. They're saying they will, all this will help them save about one billion euros per year by 2023. But Danone remains very much under pressure from a lot of analysts. Some questioning uh, the big focus on ESG. Uh, other analysts are saying this is a difficult balance, how much to uh, return to shareholders. At Bluebell uh, mentioned this uh, yesterday, according to the Financial Times, saying that they support this focus on sustainability, uh, but that uh, Danone didn't manage to strike the right balance with shareholder value creation, mentioning that other companies and other consumer goods companies, such as a uh, Lever uh, managed to have a better return. So interesting here conversation on the future of Danone putting uh, man the management of Danone surely under more pressure to turn around um, the performance of the group. At the moment, the, the shares at Danone are, after opening in the red this morning are now up 1.3% on the French market, guys.